I use macOS. Yes. I know, I really should just switch to Linux already. And I would if the free and open source audio and video apps were any good. And if my audio interface just works properly. But they aren't, and it doesn't. So for now, Mac OS it is. At least it's not Windows. Anyway, now I've insulted at least half the internet, let's crack on with what I consider to be great quality of life upgrades and improvements for Mac OS. Now, to start with, this is a really basic one tap to click. It makes your life so much easier. This should be on by default. So if you haven't already switched to it, do it. On a similar level, if you aren't using Spotlight to open apps, just do it. Command space and type away. As much as I love trackpads on MacBooks, this is so much faster. You'll also notice I don't have my dock visible by default. I don't need it because it takes up precious screen space. And the only good thing it can do is to launch apps, which I can do much faster with Spotlight. You may have also noticed that I don't have the menu bar visible. This is partly because I'm a psychopath for aesthetic reasons, but also because I rarely use anything up there. I've learned a couple of shortcuts for each app, and then I pretty much forget it's there. I don't need the time visible on my laptop screen, as well as my phone and my watch. So if I really need to, I could just peek at it like that, or look over there at the widgets for my clock. Another basic tip is to just narrow down to just doing things one way. I don't ever need to use Launchpad or the dock because I already have Spotlight. It's the fastest solution and I'll stick with that. Just learn a couple of keyboard shortcuts per app for your most used functions. Next, one of the first things I turn on is three finger drag. I don't like dragging windows around, but if I have to, it's so much easier with this setting turned on. In conjunction with tap to click, it makes cursor window management an absolute breeze. You can also use this for selecting text and you still have your trackpad gestures, but now it's four fingers rather than three. But what's easier than clicking and dragging? window snapping. Finally, macOS has this by default. I used to use a third party app, but now I use Apple's implementation. It's a little bit buggy for some apps, but it usually does the job. But absolutely forget using the menu bar in this Windows thing. What is this? And also, what sort of menu is that? Absolutely not. Just use keyboard shortcuts. Mine are set to control function and left and right arrow for snapping to half the window which is already the default. And the full screen shortcut I did change. Originally, it was something like Control Function F, but that didn't feel close enough to the other shortcuts. So now it is Control Up. On pretty much any laptop, I'm never gonna use more than two apps on the same screen. So this is pretty much the only commands I need. Lastly, just block all the notifications that you can. You don't want a computer that's going to be bothering you every five seconds. On Windows, I keep getting reminders that I've unplugged my headphones. I, I know, I unplugged them. I don't need a persistent notification telling me something that I chose to do. And now, here are some of the apps that I found improve my macOS experience. App Cleaner, it uninstalls apps. Now, I know you could just do this from the applications menu in the finder, but this app also finds the associated files and residue and deletes that at the same time. So if I wanted to delete Android file transfer, it would find the main app and then also all the other bits that go along with it. I know there's probably a fancy terminal command that does the exact same thing, but eh, I don't uninstall a lot of apps regularly, so I can't be bothered to learn a command that I'm gonna use, what, five times a year? This next one is called Dozer. Now, up here on the menu bar, you'll see this little dot. That, except for this, uh, hides everything beyond this point in the menu bar. So I've got a couple of extra bits here. There's OBS, and there's the next app I'll be talking about. But Dozer essentially hides anything beyond this point. So I can click and I can see it if I need it. Do I really need this, considering I hide the menu bar anyway? No. Will I keep using it anyway? Anyway, the app that Dozer is hiding is called Displapature. Yeah, Displapature. Now, all this does is it rounds the corners for me. Probably won't show up quite as well on YouTube, 
but yeah, that's what it does. I prefer it. I think it matches better with macOS stylings. So yeah, I think that should be on by default. I know modern Macs have rounded corners anyway, but only on the top, not the bottom. Why would you do this, Apple? And finally, this last app is used as my replacement for AirDrop, because I sure as hell aren't going to buy an iPhone or an iPad anytime soon. It costs nothing, it's open source, and it's called Local Send. You just open the app on both devices and share whatever you like. So I'm just going to share a picture from my Android phone to my Mac. And there we go. There's the image. And it's just opened on my other monitor, but there it is. Very simple, very fast. I used to use a cable and the other app called Android File Transfer for photos and videos, but half the time that app doesn't even work. And for some reason, macOS doesn't just treat an Android device like a drive, like it would on Windows and Linux. So, local share it is. And these are a few of my simple tricks and apps to make macOS way more useful and simple. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.